Snow Witch Robe. That old witch was Ronnie's secret mentor. Oh, ugh, look how gross it is. Robe, robe made by sewing together patches of smooth skin. Sub, cut, cut, subcutanent, subcutaneous fat makes it plump and soft. Worn by godskin nobles known for their seven face aprons. Strengthens the noble presence incantation. Nobles are the most ancient apostles who are said to have assimilated in human physiology. Not unlike the crucible, the Ur tree in its primordial form. That was a lot of tough words there. And subcutaneous definitely got me hung up. Some of these descriptions are gross. Dude, oh, look at that. Okay, and I also got Stargazer Heirloom, a talisman engraved with the legend of a queen. Cell, raises, raises intelligence. I need to wear that. The young astrologer gazed at the night sky as she walked. I'm not calling myself dumb. Let, let the record show I am an intelligence build. Um, he said as he defended his own pride. Uh, the young astrologer gazed at the night sky as she walked. She had always chased the stars every step of her journey. Then she met the full moon. And in time, the astrologer became a queen, the goblin queen. I do like the it raising my intelligence. Real talk. Let's see what I, I can swap for that. Damn, that was kind of cool. I came here almost expecting to redo the area that I had done before and not actually probably make progress tonight. But I randomly had that little thing that I could put on the pedestal and then it flipped everything. It was just neat. All right, um, what's another thing? I think right here is what is called a, mer uh, a tabia mariner. No, mariner, a tabia mariner. It's like this like ghost, it's like a ghost character and he's driving a gondola. You know, those little like boats in Venice. Pretty cool concept. And there's one in each zone of the map and I can't remember if I've defeated this one or not okay I have he he was right here and he just kind of like takes his boat around there's such a dope fight too because like it's like a little gondola, right? And it's a big ghost spirit. And then he'll, like, summon ghost water to come and try to attack you with it. Or, dude, it's so dope. Okay, with that said. Ghost water. You know, dude. And, like, one of his attacks, it makes the boat rise up. Like, it, the water lifts the boat up and the boat kind of comes like this. And it almost has like a steampunk kind of vibe. It's so sick. Okay, I've defeated the dragon here. This game's so massive. It's just kind of tough to remember all what you've done and not done. That's why I try to put some of these markers here. Like, let me see if I've done that. A wheelie on... Well said. A steampunk willy. <laughs> A steampunk willy, if you may. That was good. That was well done, Alan. Me and you combined nicely for that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got a little group of dudes. Oh, a couple dudes. Little rock worms. Hey, man, you got your rock worms? Oh, I just wasted a pot. I think I have... How do I get off this damn thing? Thank you. Yeah, I've beaten this one. Okay. One of the cool... Like, all right, if you're an open world game, it's so much better when you can just, like, let somebody fast travel to a beacon from anywhere. Like, I can just, from here, go to a fast travel. Some games have a bunch of fast travel beacons. It is, like, it's spread out well, 
but you have to go to a beacon to go to a different one. And that's always kind of like, man, but, but man. All right, let me see if I defeated this guy here. Every one of those Erd trees has a boss at its base. Woo wah win. Man, I, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted Netherlands to win because of my boy Verge and Gakpo. Honestly, they they did not get Gakpo near enough near enough service. I obviously talked in the live stream about um, those two runs in particular where Gakpo does brilliantly and no one picks him, even attempts to pick him out. But just in general, it felt like um, they didn't get it out to him enough. And then two, I think England did well to double team him when he did get it. Oh, Wuwa does that as well. Oh, where you can just fast travel to any beacon. Dude, these things are cool. They're giant, like, walking mausoleums. I've, I think I've already done what you can do here. Uh, oh, yeah, you can use this to duplicate one of your remembrances. I have to, yeah. What are? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I forgot all about those things. Where do you even find those? Here? No. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you have to go and interact with them and discover them. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, okay. I think these are remembrances, or they were, and I, I don't remember. I know you can have one of these equipped at a time. Amber Egg, clutched by Renala. Perfect, perfects those who have been born anew. Children born anew by Renala are all frail and short-lived imperfect beings each and all yeah that tells me a lot that's what i mean earlier you know i said that like the descriptions in this game are like oh you gotta get the the ectoplasm in the sphincter sauce or something I, you know i'm not too far away i don't think all right i don't remember where remembrances are remember re <laughs> that made me think of in the hangover when alan they're all like obviously still getting over the roofies he goes hey you remember us not remembering anything uh that's good okay see i have one here the remembrance of the regal ancestor spirit hewn into the earth tree the power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader alternatively it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the earth tree Life sprouts from death as it does from birth. Such is the way of the living. Deep. Based. So based. I'm in the balcony getting ass assaulted by mosquitoes. So, yeah, I think these things, you can either turn, convert them into like a, a, a skill, basically, or like a weapon. In this case, it's a skill or a lot of runes. So I think I was holding on to it, but I can also use this to duplicate it. Which is important because like let's say okay on one of these i'm i'm also doing this for my own sake I'm trying to remember how this all works so i think what you do is you get a remembrance and then you take it to the finger reader and you can either get this one of the great runes which is like raise all stats raise these boom boom or you can get a weapon and in some cases you might want both you might want this and the weapon so you duplicate it here But it doesn't really show you what you're going to get. It says the power can be unlocked or alternatively you can get a great room. That I might have to look up. Oh, the finger reader. Yeah, you heard me. Fingers. Finger getter. Okay, we've done that. I need to check this tree. Instead of taking a break, I think I'm just going to um, play a little longer and then call it. 
It's been a super amazing stream. Especially how well my, um, like the computers performed and everything. Freaking love it. How'd you get to the PC? Heard that? Where the phone started to die? I didn't actually mean to come in here. I can't believe I lost 90,000 runes. Um, yeah, did your phone die? Yeah, and I wanted to throw on the football game. Yeah, it's good. This is a good one. I have that up on my other monitor. Freaking Columbia down a man. All right, let's make sure we kill this boss. Uh, you do fantasy football, like American football. All right, yeah, I must have killed this guy. Or what? That was weird. It's like yanked me off my horse. Ooh, these are like little harpy ladies. Uh, I need to remember to start the install of that myself before I go to bed. Hey, uh, d -Nack, have you heard of... um? Oh, you hear the singing? It's like a harpy lady. Uh, have you heard of First Descendant? Y'all hear her? I have downsized over the past few years. It's only one league now. That's how I was. At one point, I had four or five, and it was just... One, it was... It was a, I don't, want, I don't want to say it's too hard to keep up with, but the real thing to me was I. you ultimately will have a player. You have, like, your your team, and, like, maybe you, you obviously have your, your, your preferred league, your league number one, the one that you care about winning the most, and then maybe one that's, like, a 1B or the second one, right? But you'll have, like, your lineup. But then what you'll wind up having is any given week, like, you're watching on Sunday at 1 o'clock, and, like, Christian McCaffrey scores, and you're like, fuck yeah. And then you remember that you're actually playing against them in two other leagues. And you're just like, it just became to me a little all convoluted. And it, it just took away of the, because like one reason I love fantasy is giving more meaning. Look at her singing to these people. It's so creepy to that. You know, it's like, I'm a Steelers fan, right? It just gives that extra little bit of fun to me watching, I don't know, um, the Chargers, like I'm a big football fan, so I'm going to watch it anyways, but just that extra little bit of investment when I'm watching the Chargers and the, I don't know, Saints, right? And so with too many lineups, I just felt like I kept getting, like, you know, it was just like, oh, cool, this player scored, but he also scored against me. I guess I'll just check my lineup later, you know what I mean, instead of actually watching them. So I've downsized to one as well, my main one lead. No, I didn't know what to root for exactly. It's like, yeah, someone's sore. And you're like, yes. I guess it depends on how much, how big of a lead I have in the other one. No, you have not heard of First Ascendant. It's a new game. It kind of plays like a little like Warframe. I don't know if you've heard of that one or Destiny. It's kind of like a mixture of a bunch of games. Um, and I, a lot of streamers have been playing it recently. It's got me interested in it. I've never played it myself though. Okay. We've killed this guy. What would be a good place to check? I've killed Radon. I guess maybe somewhere up here. Um, let me just pick a spot. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I do more actual gambling, unfortunately. Huh? It gives me that emotional connection with the games. Um, are you, what are you using? DraftKings, like sports or, um, sleeper, the sleeper app. Oh, okay. So this, 
is the fast travel beacon. If so, this whole little area is called the Royal Capital, right? You can see the like wall. Okay, and then this is the Royal Capital. And this is essentially the room where the main, 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 main boss of the Royal Capital, I think. I think the main one of the main, main ones is actually at the Elden Throne. I don't remember uh, going here. Oh, okay. So this is where I think you kill somebody named Mog, which is the guy you need to defeat before, like if you want to play the DLC. Like you have to get up to at least here to beat. I don't remember what happens after that. You come in here and you like touch a tree. Oh, see, there he is. He's not looking too good. I murked him. Yeah, man, I've been super basic with the games the last five years. Here and there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, um... I, like, I also haven't played Warframe, but it is one of those, like, it's one of the most popular uh, free-to-play games. And it has a very, like, kind of, like, unique movement. Like, any game where you kind of, like, dash around like Emperor Palpatine when he's, like, full, you know, Sith Lord going at uh, those three, the Jedi or whatever, like, <laughs> like, dashing like that. That's kind of that Warframe model. I don't know what happens when I do this. Should I touch it? Hold on, maybe if I unequip something and then re-equip it, I'll save myself. Nope. That's work for me. I just watch people play them. That uh I heard that um another good buddy who he's recently finished residency and got a, like a super dope job, so he hasn't had as much time to be around stream. But um that's how he was. Like he's a big uh watcher of like let's plays and like the people's full playthroughs and stuff. Which I have a couple of those. Like, uh, if you were ever curious of me playing Spider-Man 2, I have, like, my entire playthrough of me playing Spider-Man 2 on my YouTube. And they're all, like, broken down into 30-minute episodes. And, like, I trim out the, um, like, AFK breaks. When I'm troubleshooting alerts, things like that, I trim that out. Um, I don't really... Do I touch the Wall of Thorns? This music right now is majestic all right we're saved but this game auto saves is i don't i don't know if i should do this i do get into those some uh i'm gonna do it impenetrable thorns refuse all none may enter the earth tree okay never mind <laughs> that was anticlimactic all right so we have those divine tower i think i've beaten that this is this like snow area is my main like where I'm at, but it's really hard, like very hard. You want to see me get my ass beat? Uh, Adlin got to see this a lot. So one of the main boss fights I'm on is this behemoth. I can't believe I lost ninety thousand runes. And I need hold on. I think I need one hundred and twenty to level up. So I was close to actually being able to level up. I need one hundred and forty k. Oh well, sometimes you gotta go backwards in order to go forward, you know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, there's nothing finer in the land than a cameraman who shows the Colombian fans. Oh, that rhymed pretty well. Adlin, and uh, especially, but Andy Neck, help me remember that anytime I do this fight and I die, I need to send this thing back. When I first dove back into this game, D Neck, like a week or two ago, I forgot about that. So, like, I rode the elevator up, right? Because clearly, two year Creed two years ago remembered to send it back down every time. Well, anyways, I hop back on this game, I go, I ride the elevator up, I go up here, I lose in the boss fight, get my ass beat. Boom, I respawn. I didn't send it back down, forgot that that was a thing. So I went to take that little shortcut that I just took to get on the, uh, the elevator and it wasn't there. So I just like, -da 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 -da, and then plummeted to my death and lost like a hundred some thousand runes or like 80,000. 
Needless to say, I need to be more efficient with my runes. All right, this fight is hard as shit. All right, we decided we need to go these things. To get the minions out of here. Get out of here. Dude. Oh, no. No, no, no me gusta. Stop. Dude, just let me drink my potion. No, it does not, unfortunately. And so what's funny is, again, yeah, I got into the loop where I always remember to drop it back down, and I just, woo! Because, like, I remembered the, like, shortcut. The, the like, once you get to a certain point, you have this ladder unlocked and stuff. And then I, I did remember that pretty smoothly, but I forgot about the sending it back down. Absolutely wasted a shit ton of runes. Okay, I gotta remember to get my shit ready first this time. Boom. Let's be on the art. Let's pop that. Oh, I almost did it again. Oh, I think I should pop it before I actually go through the tunnel. See, and one thing that I could do is I could summon these, like, uh, AI helpers. And they definitely are badass. They look cool as shit. But they're also kind of frowned upon by um, from software, like, purists, so to speak. Oh, my God. But also, it's like 3v1, and I'm putting baby in a corner. What did I just get stuck in? Yeah, y'all can just have it have it ready. We're gonna be caught up to the this in no time at this rate. All right, let's remember I can pop that stuff before I go through the gate, which means I can get in a better position to attack before he spawns the fucks. And then should I say screw the purist and just I mean the game is two years old at this point now, right? Like, I don't mind using the summons for a lot of the fights, but for the main boss fights, I've been trying to beat them without it. Don't worry, I see. <laughs> oh, thanks. What up, Clipper? How's it going, man? I'm just getting my ass beat in Elden Ring, and we're watching Columbia, Uruguay. All right, I'm summoning him. We don't care. Oh, look at him. Night v. Night Duel. I didn't... Um, I fucked up. I forgot how to get my staff back out. That's what, that's what he said. Help! Help me, Tom Cruise. What is happening? I don't know who's who. Okay. For a second there, I wasn't sure which one was like my homie. Oh, oh this fight. This is a fun one. No, it's not. So this is the one that I ended. Um, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll go over that recap in a minute. Are they going to focus on my homie or not? What up, Cell? Okay, but now my homie's dead. He lived a good life. Okay, now it's 1v1. No, I'm stuck on a fucking pole. You can eat my dingleberries. Oh, he's summoning lightning now.
Ow. Ow. All right, I'll get, I'll get caught up in chat in a second. Sorry. You guys know the vibes. I hope you're doing well, Clipper. Uh, how's your snap game been going? You been playing any of that? Or still burnt out? Because I played a little bit earlier on stream, but it still, still needs some more juice before I'm back fully invested in that game. Oh, no. Sir. S sir. I respectfully disagree. Bro, just left. Is this Zeus? Stop it. Are you mad because I killed your brother or whoever that guy is in the Kalid area? There's like a different, I think his name is like Commander O'Neill. That's such a sloppy damage. Bro. Okay, the short version, uh, Clipper, this, I played the game over 200 hours back in 2022, loved it. This is like basically the fight I ended on. Um, it was one of those, I kept getting my ass beat, and then, uh, you know, it's one of those, you leave the fight, you come back, you're like, I need you to fall, let's. No, I got greedy. I forgot he did the follow-up stab. All right, let me catch up. Uh, this fight was a fun one. Shout out Cell, for real, for real. Rip, homie. No, still giving up on Snap. Kind of scratching my head on the Kawhi news. Probably for the best, but not great. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, let's hope that it's precautionary. Right? And not... Okay, maybe no intelligence, and we go back to the quicker casting one. Um, it's precautionary. I thought it was a bit, I mean, we obviously know what kind of player he is, right? And his, the things that he can bring to a basketball team is extra important in a major international tournament like that. But it's also like, the man can barely play like playoff matches. And we're now hoping he can also play in the Olympics. So, plus, I think a lot of people, not over Kawhi, but I think a lot of people wanted either Kyrie or um, Jalen Brown to also be included in the team. So maybe it gives them a chance. I have a feeling it is. Hey, his knee is not great. Too hard. So why stress it? Dude, the new stadium might be the wisest point either of us, either of us will bring up. Okay. Eat my ass. Oh, I forgot to do my little buffs and my juice juice. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh, I love them lined up like this. Great right in my night miss. I can get them missed up real good. Oh no. Stop it. <laughs> Dude, that's one of my favorite comments. So there's a lot of good comments on the ESPN uh, post about that news. One of my favorites was, uh, <laughs> it was Bronny's going to take his spot. I love that. Um, that one felt harsh. It did one of the things, like sometimes if you cast too quickly or you do any animation too quickly, you'll get caught in like this animation loop almost. <gasps> oh, I thought I did it again. I thought I done did it. Um, and I want to say that that's what happened to your boy, but I don't want to make excuses. It is so fun. All right, Uruguay's still down. They're up a man. 
dude, they have so many cards. There's five cards in that match, including the red card. Oh, my camera lock's kind of effing me. Kind of effing me good. Oh, wait, I just... I didn't have any runes left. Oh, this is no bueno. No, no. Sir. Sir. Please. Can we talk about it? Dude, they are... They have no interest in my homie, by the way. They have no interest. They have no interest! <laughs> They have no interest. Now they do. Dude, I'm so sad. That second run felt so good. That's a really cool loading screen. I have no idea what's going on with the light and the moon and the stuff. I do have tier mimic, but I, I've always heard. So I don't know if you were here a minute ago before I started to even use my summon. Like, first off, I'm not a from software like uh expert or whatever or like a seasoned from soft person elden ring is the first one i've ever actually like fully committed to you know like six hours in dark souls 2 i have like 10 hours in sekiro but i am one of those people as we talked about with snap i don't like to use meta stuff if i can help it i don't like to cheese stuff right so i know magic is considered cheese by the um the purist right so one thing i do is i do like a hybrid i'm like a magic and a melee and for most major fights, even if I do 80% of my damage with magic, I'll try to get the killing blow at least with magic. That way, at least I'm like, yo, I'm at least willing to get my like face right up in there snatch. You know what I'm saying? Like get in there right out, real nice and deep like. <clears throat> so likewise, I don't like to use the summons at all on the main boss fights, but it is one of those things. The game's been out two and a half years. Like who am I trying to impress? It's just one boss. I've beaten a lot of other ones without um, summons. So, yeah, it's just one of those, like, uh, things. But I do have the Mimic tier. I guess my what I was going to get at is I've always heard it's, like, really good, though. Like, too good. And it makes the game a little too easy. Um, how do I equip that again? Uh, we go Inventory, Ashes of War, maybe. Right? Yeah, this one. One of the cool, like, I was, let me say this though. I, once I found out that summons were frowned upon and I didn't use them as much, I was kind of bummed because some of these are cool as hell. And like, when you get them, like, you got like an army of zombies, right? You can get like, uh, giant rats, little, the little exploding pots that go and detonate for themselves. So, like, it is one of those things that I'm like, man, these things are cool and I kind of hate that I'm missing out. All right, let me try the Mimic tier. Mimic tier for sure is pretty powerful, depending on your build. Uh, oh, yeah, Elevator, good call. Did I hit it? Elden Ring was my first game too. Oh, I, uh, did you win the fight? Was it a challenge? Did you have fun? Then it is not cheese to me. Well said, they put summons in the game. Really well said. The ref's arm is going to fall off because of how many yellows he's throwing up. Dude, well, uh, dude, y'all are on fire right now, chat. Um, Yeah, they have six now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use it. 